Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Jose Arturo. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Nice. I'm doing well. Thank you. So how was work today? Um, very busy. Very busy? It's really? so hard. Yeah. I guess. So hard. Mm -hmm. Yes, I bet. So you have to, to go to different places, right? Le toca moverse yeah. en distintos lugares. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah, that's tiring. Es un poco cansado, right? Yes. Hello, good evening, Lorena. Uh, begin to start in. I need a meta question. Oh, sure. Tell me. Lorena, sorry, I um, couldn't hear you. <laughs> Disculpe, es que veo que Lorena estaba hablando, pero no le escuché. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, José Arturo, adelante, um, dígame. <laughs> con respecto a lo que es la, el progreso, uh -huh. eh, si me pudiera aclarar un poquito sobre todos los puntos que hay que llenar eh, para, para que, porque ahí en, la, en las gráficas hay, parece que MH, unas cuestiones que tienen mayoría, y para poder saber cómo, cómo poder llenar todos esos espacios. Ah, muy bien. Fíjese que en la plataforma en realidad todo tiene ponderación. Cada uno de los ejercicios, incluso el hecho de que vayan pasando por cada uno de los videos y todo eso, le da cierta ponderación. Todo, todo se toma en cuenta, sin embargo hay partes que tienen más porcentaje, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, los knowledge check, que serían los, ya los, los ejercicios. Knowledge. Exacto. Eh, los exámenes, desde luego, tienen un porcentaje mucho mayor. Y pues es de esa forma que se, van, que se va llenando el progreso. Entonces, acá, a ver, es, me está cargando la, la plataforma. Entonces, acá va a ir viendo, aquí tenemos eh, la sección 1, 2, 3, 4 y hasta las 5, ¿verdad? Y aquí le va a ir apareciendo el, el average, el promedio de lo que vaya haciendo. Por ejemplo, si de la sección 1 llenó, por decirle algo, un 80% y de la 2 un 90%, acá le va a dar un promedio de las dos secciones. Y así conforme vaya llenando cada una de las secciones. Luego, en esta parte le va a dar el porcentaje del midterm test, que es el que tenemos al final de la sección 3. Y acá está el espacio para el test final. Este sería el último examen que tenemos en la sección 5. Y este es el porcentaje que más debemos de cuidar, por así decirlo. Acá necesitamos como mínimo 80% para aprobar el curso. Eso lo va a ir obteniendo Perfecto. según vaya completando cada una de las secciones, los exámenes y todo el, el trabajo que le muestra en la plataforma. Ah, ok. Eh, si podría, bueno, si podría, si usted tiene acceso para ver eh, mi avance, eh, me gustaría me diera recomendaciones en, en qué más debo participar, porque hasta ahorita creo que la sección 1 ya hice los tres knowledge check. Y estoy como un 66%. En la sección 1, este, y ha obtenido porcentaje de 100, de 100 en los knowledge check. O tiene, sí. porque también depende de si tengo algunos errores, me va a ir bajando puntos, ¿verdad? Sin embargo, ahí tengo la opción Todo de volver a, a realizar. Ok. Eh, ajá, y le marca el 66. Fíjese que yo en realidad no tengo acceso para revisar cada una de, su, de sus plataformas o de sus progresos. 
pero puedo consultarlo con, con Jason para que él nos haga el favor de revisarle, si gusta, José Arturo. Perfecto. Bueno, yo voy a comentarle a él para que podamos revisar eso, porque sí, si hizo todo el trabajo, pues debería ser un porcentaje mayor. Uh -huh. Yo mañana entonces le comento a él y le digo cómo podemos eh, revisar y pues ahí resolver, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Excelente. Ok, no sé si tiene alguna, alguna otra consulta. Uh, solamente por el momento. That's it. Ok. All right. Good evening, everybody. Hi, Jasmine. Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. How are you? I'm fine. Um, I'm fine. <laughs> Great. How was work today? ¿Cómo estuvo el trabajo? Um, it was um, very... Um, Oh, really? All right. Let's see. Hi, Mauricio. How are you? Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. How was your day? Okay. Uh, very hard uh, sometimes. Um, oh. but, but, uh, con buena actitud se pasa rápido. With a good atti attitude, right? Yes, that's very important. Ah, okay. Mm. Ah, okay. Okay, cool. Do yes. you work from yes, home? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm oh. working in uh, American Park. Oh, okay, you have to go uh, to the office now. En Ciudad Arce. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, that's good. Yeah. Mm. Good evening, Abraham. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Hi, good evening. How are you, Carla? Oh, or Laura, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty well, thank you. What about you? I'm fine, just doing well. Thanks for asking. Excellent. So how was your day? Did you work, Laura? Not for the moment. Oh, okay. All right. But I work in house. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet. A lot of house work, right? Like lots of chores. Yeah. Mucho oficio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel. Yeah. I imagine. Isabel. Hi, how are you? Hi, me. I'm so good. And That's you? great. I'm well, thanks. Did you work today? No, I am not working yet. Oh, okay, not working yet. All right, that's fine. Roberto, welcome. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. You? I'm great. Thank you. So, how about your day, Roberto? How was it? Uh, I'm fine. Just fine? Yeah, pretty good. Okay. Yeah, yes, fine. All right, nice. Did you work today? Yes, all day. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, kind of tiring, I bet. Cansado. A little, a little. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I can imagine. So, hi, Carla. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How is it going? Um, I'm fine, thank you, teacher. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. So it's nice to, to have you here. Nice to hear you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, you Lorena, for, for Ryan. Sorry, 
We couldn't hear that, Carla. Can you repeat? No, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, okay. <laughs> no problem. I'll do that. All right. So, Lorena, how are you? Were you able to fix your microphone? <laughs> No, cannot hear you yet. <laughs> no, Lorena, I cannot hear you. No le podemos escuchar. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so how about we start with the class now? Let's get the ball rolling. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So welcome everybody. We are going to start with this activity. It's called count to ten. Vamos a intentar contar desde el primero hasta el décimo, from first to ten, one by one. First, second, third, and then we get to ten. But we are not following any order. No vamos a seguir ningún orden en cuanto a quién va a decir cada número, sino que usted simplemente eh, enciende su micrófono y dice el número que sigue. Por ejemplo, José Arturo inicia diciendo first. Luego, Mauricio si quiere participar, dice second. Luego, Carla enciende su micrófono y dice third. Y así, sin seguir ningún orden, sin levantar la manita ni nada. Solo lo dice y no debemos de coincidir dos personas a la vez con el mismo número ni tampoco saltarnos ningún número. So we keep the order and we don't have to say the same number at the same time, okay? Okay, let's try it. So let's try it. I start first. Second. Second. Okay, we got two people saying second. So if that happens, we get back to the first number, okay? We die. Si hay dos personas que lo digan al mismo tiempo o cometemos un error, volvemos al primer, okay? okay. Let's do it again, first. Oh. <laughs> One more time, first. Second. <laughs> Still, I have two people saying second. Let's see, again, first. Second. Third. <laughs> okay, one more time. First. Second. Third. Fourth. Five. Fifth. Okay, continue. Sixth. Okay, we were in eight. Continue. Nine. Great, we got it. Okay, that's nice. So now that we have counted and remember about the numbers, let's remember about be going to remember that yesterday we were making some questions, right? Ayer okay. estábamos haciendo algunas preguntas. Um, algunos alcanzaron a hacer la pregunta a los compañeros, otros no participamos. Es que los que no hemos participado, vamos a hacerlo en este momento. Le voy a dar 20 segundos para que recuerde su pregunta o para que haga alguna si no la tiene, ¿ok? So you got 20 seconds to make your question. Just get ready. I got it. Very good, Isabel. Okay. 
Okay, so I think we're ready to start. So let's see, Isabel, you're the first one to ask. Okay. Choose a classmate and ask. Who is missing? Okay, remember that the question has to be with be going to, okay? Recuerda que debe escoger uno de los compañeros y le hace la pregunta. Eh, tiene que ser una pregunta con be going to. Are you going to eat pupusas for dinner? Or what are you going to do tomorrow? Or any other question, okay? Okay, Roberto? Uh, are you going to eat outside tonight? Yes, uh, yes, I I am going to eat outside and and pupusas in the mm -hmm. and again at the pupuseria. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> yeah, at the pupuseria. Yeah, your favorite pupuseria, right? <laughs> okay. Right, excellent, Isabel and Roberto. Roberto, do you have a question? Okay. Um, let, 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 let me see. Um, so yeah, Anna Ruth. Okay. 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 Uh, who, are, who are going to the weekend? Um, sorry, Roberto, can you repeat that, please? Okay. Who are you? Are you going to the weekend? Um, what do you mean? ¿Qué queremos preguntar, Roberto? ¿Qué, qué harás en el fin de semana? Oh, okay. Then you say what? What, what are you oh, going? What, what are you uh, what are going to, to the weekend? Do on the weekend. Okay, and Aru? I am going to, to visit my parents on weekend. Okay, nice. Thank you, Roberto. Ana Ruth, now make a question to Noemi, please. Um, why are you going to study the English course? Repeat, please. Why are you going to study the, Eng the English course? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué este quiere, está, va a estudiar el curso de inglés? Because. ¿Por qué va a estudiar I, el curso de inglés? Why I'm are going. You... Continue. Sorry. I'm going. I'm going to study the course English is interesting. Because English is interesting, great. Okay, thank you. Now, Noemi, you asked the question to Jasmine. Jasmine, we're going, we're going to go to the beach. Next week. Again, Noemi, are we going? Eh, tú irás a la playa la próxima semana. Okay, so you say, are you going? Okay. Are you, are, are you going? Are you going to go eh, beach, to go the beach next week? No, I'm not going to visit to the beach. To the beach. Okay, uh, you are next weekend. <laughs> nice, Jasmine. You are not going to go to the beach next weekend. So sad, right? <laughs> so, Jasmine, your question is going to be for Jose Arturo. Okay, Arturo. Where are you going to have dinner on Christmas? Excuse me, speak loud, please. 
Uh, where are you going to have dinner on Christmas? Uh, I don't okay. catch you the, the last words. Oh. oh, okay. Where are you going to have dinner on Christmas? Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to cook pavo. <laughs> Oh, the question, Jose Arturo, where okay. are you going to have dinner for Christmas? Where? Okay, um, I'm going to eat um, um, chicken and bread. Okay, just, um, Jasmine, la pregunta era con where, ¿verdad? Es como, ¿dónde, dónde, ¿Dónde? vas a cenar? Ah, where, where, okay. where are you going to have dinner? Ah. ¿Dónde vas a cenar ah. en Navidad? Ok. Uh -huh. uh, I'm going to dinner in my, in my father's house. Ok. Nice. Very good. So, thank you everybody for participating. And now let's move on. So, here I have some special occasions like um, Valentine's Day, then we have Father's Day, Independence Day, graduation, and some others. Acá tenemos algunas ocasiones especiales y holidays um, que, se, que normalmente celebramos en nuestro país. So we have um, Valentine's Day, Father's Day, Independence Day, graduation, Halloween, anniversary, Thanksgiving, Easter, the Holy Week, Christmas, birthdays, Mother's Day, Children's Day, August holidays, October, Labor's Day, wedding, and cross day. So do you have any others to add to the list? Sorry, what is it, Laura? The Soldier Day. The Soldier's Day, yes, that's very important. Easter, what is Easter? Death days. Easter sería Pascua. That is like um, the vacation that we have on March or or um, sometimes in April. Holy weekend. Yes, the Holy Week. Holy Week. Mm -hmm. Holy yeah, Week, okay, que okay. se llama, normalmente en español pues la llamamos Semana Santa, March. que sería como Holy Week, pero en inglés también la podemos llamar Easter. Mm -hmm. Or de Pascua. Oh. Yeah, exactly. So we had Soldier's Day. Any others to add to the list? And um, Death Days. What is it? No, Death Days, November 2, November 2nd. Oh, November 2nd, the Death Day. Okay. Or the All Saints Day, we could also call it. El Día de Todos los Santos, right? All Saints Day. All Saints Day. Mm -hmm. Any other holiday or special occasion that you know about? Me. Women's Day. Yes, Women's Day. Women's, women. ¿Es women cuando es general para las mujeres? Women sería mujeres y woman es una mujer. Women, ah, ok, thank you. Ajá, el, el singular sería woman, perdón, singular woman, one, one woman and two or more women, mujeres, plural. Ok. Ok, and the others? No more? All right, so now let's prepare. Teacher day. The teacher's day, very important, right? <laughs> nurse day. Yes, the nurse day. Okay. Mm -hmm. Earth day. What is it? Earth, Earth day. What do you mean? Uh, yeah. in, 
Happy Father's, Father's Day. Yes, Father's Day is over here. Eh, perdón, José Arturo, no sé qué. Uh, Earth Day. Earth. Third, what do you mean? Día de la Tierra. Oh, Earth Day. Earth Day. Earth Day. Earth Day. Uh -huh. Wait, wait. Yeah, okay. Very nice. Pupusa so, Day. Pupusa Day. Yes, another Salvadorian <laughs> thing, right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure, why not? Let's add it. Pupusa <laughs> Day. Okay, so we have a list of special occasions now. Now let's listen to some of the vocabulary we can use for talking about the things we do in special occasions. Yes. Okay, just let me get the video. Okay, so I need you to listen and pay attention to the vocabulary. If you have any questions, you ask me when I stop the video, okay? Mother's Day. Father's Day, graduation, wedding, anniversary, send cards, give presents, take pictures, sing songs, dance, eat cake, have a party, have a picnic, eat special food. Okay, so there we have some of the things that we normally do in special occasions. For example, send cards, give presents, take pictures, sing songs, dance, eat cake, have a party, have a picnic, eat special food. Any questions yeah. about the vocabulary? Preguntas sobre el vocabulario? Oh. No, everything's clear? Oh, clear. Okay, so please repeat. Send cards. Send cards. Send cards. Give presents. Give presents. Give presents. Take pictures. Take pictures. Sing songs. Sing songs. Sing songs. Dance. 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 Eat cake. cake. Eat cake. cake. Have a party. Have, Have a, a party. party. Have a party. Have a picnic. Have a, Have a, picnic. a picnic. Eat special food. Eat special food. Eat special food. Eat special food. All right, nice. So now that we know some ways to celebrate and some things to do in special occasions, I need you to do some homework. Vamos a tener esa pequeña tarea para practicar un poquito acerca de los holidays or special occasions y también para practicar el be going to. So you have to make a plan to celebrate a coming holiday or a special occasion. Me va a hacer un plan eh, para una celebración de un holiday or special occasion Usted elige, puede ser Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas, New Year's Eve, or it could be somebody's birthday, or maybe your Indeed. wedding anniversary, or just any occasion. Puede escoger cualquier ocasión y va a utilizar el vocabulario de la sección 1.13. También algunas de las ideas que puede considerar. Acá le tengo algunas preguntas que podemos incluir. Eh, well, de la información que podemos incluir. So, some of them are, what are you going to celebrate? Who are you going to invite? Where are you going to go? Who are you going to, oh, I have, who are you going to invite twice? So we have, um, what are you going to do? And then I have an example. It's about Mother's Day. 
So it goes like Mother's Day. I'm going to celebrate Mother's Day. It's on May 10th. I'm going to invite all my family and friends. The party is going to be in my house. And then you keep on adding some more ideas. Let's make our own temple. Let's see, tell me a holiday or a special occasion. A ver, hagamos un ejemplo. Escogemos algún holiday or special occasion. Okay, so my birthday. Let's see. So me you borroso. say, se ve borroso. Oh, Totalmente, fine. teacher. Okay, sorry about that. Voy a volver, voy a dejar de compartir entonces y vuelvo a poner la pantalla a ver si eso lo mejora. Esta es la pantalla de video, teacher. Sí, probablemente sea eso. No sé qué, qué será lo que pasa. A ver, ahora. Hoy sí, perfecto. Sí, ok. <laughs> So, sí, cuando sea así, no duden en decirme, porfa. Ahí, díganme para que veamos cómo resolvemos. Okay, so let's continue with the example. We have my birthday. So you start like, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. On. And then you add. Um, okay, a pizza hat. So. First, tell me the date, and then we add the, the place, okay? A ver, eh, primero vamos a poner la fecha. On, okay. Let's see, October 31st, right? And then I'm going to celebrate. To celebrate it at Pizza Hut, right, Roberto? I mean, Jose Arturo, sorry. Pizza Hut. Okay, and then who are you going to invite? Uh, my family and the best friends. Okay, so you say I'm going to invite my family and my best friends. And then you continue by adding some more ideas like what are you going to do? Maybe we are going to play some games. We are going to eat um, meat pizza. We are going to drink some soda and so on, okay? So you keep on adding more information. Tiene que ser un párrafo cortito con el que pueda hablar unos 30 segundos y máximo un minuto, más o menos. Okay, so you write your paragraph for Monday. Vamos a hacer esta tarea para el día lunes. Any questions? Okay. Okay. No. No questions. Okay. So let's move on then. And let's talk a little bit about today's lesson objective. So by the end of this class, you will learn how to use have plus noun and feel plus adjective to express health problems. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Vamos a hablar ahora un poco de las partes del cuerpo y cómo utilizar también el vocabulario de have con nombres, con nouns, y de feel con adjectives para expresar síntomas y eh, enfermedades. So let's start with the parts of the body. Vamos a hablar de las parts of the body. Creo que ya, ya vieron el video en la plataforma, ¿cierto? Yes? yes. Most of you have, yes. have seen it? All right, nice. So what parts of the body do you remember from the video? ¿Qué parte mouth. del cuerpo aprender? Ok, mouth. Eyes. Eyes. Teeth. Neck. Nose. Teeth. Neck. Teeth. No. Nose. Eyes. Oh, lips. Shoulders. Eyes. Lips. Head. Shoulders. Ears. Head. Ears. Mm -hmm. Stomach. Stomach. Arms. Knees. Teeth. All right. Leg. Mm -hmm. 
Legs, nice. Foot. Thin. Okay, so I have all those words over here. We are going to practice pronunciation now. So let's see, everybody repeat, please. Head. 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 Okay, how about we touch our body parts when we say them? So everybody do it with me, please. Head. 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 Eye. 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 Como que le duele algo, right? It's like Eye. having pain, right? Eye. Eye. And then both Eye. eyes. 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 Ear. 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 Nose. Nose. Mouth. 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 Tooth. 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 Okay, so that is only one tooth. Solo uno, el singular sería tooth. Y luego dientes. Eh, dos o más. Teeth. 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 Exactly. Teeth. 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 So repeat, please. Teeth. Tooth. 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 Teeth. 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 And then we have chin. 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 chin is a spark. Chin. Chin. Back. 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 Shoulders. 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 Chest. 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 Okay. Chest. And then we have throat. 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 And neck. 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 Throat neck. sería garganta y neck no. es cuello, ¿ok? Sí. Then we have grist. Grist is a wrist. Grist. 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 Muñeca. Grist. Muñeca. Grist. Exactly. Grist. Then arm. 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 Elbow. 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 Thumb. 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 Okay, our next word is hand. 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 And then we have fingers. 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 Okay, then we have leg. 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 Knee. 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 Ankle. 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 Ankle is a real. Foot. Ankle, tobillo. Mm -hmm. Then we have foot. That's foot, only one foot. foot. And feet foot. is two, right? Two, the plural. Two, two, feet. Two, feet. Foot, feet. 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 And then feet. in our feet, we have, we don't have fingers. Two. We have toes. toes. Los dedos de los pies se llaman toes. En las manos toes. tenemos toes. fingers. In Los Pies, oh. we have toes. Oh. Okay, yeah, they change. So fingers and toes. Okay, any questions yeah. about the vocabulary or pronunciation of any words? No, it's okay. Estamos oh, bien? Yes. yes. Okay, Good. nada más acá un poquito con la pronunciación. Esta palabra ankle se pronuncia con una A abierta. Una A bien marcada. Ankle. 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 La Porque, teacher. Diga. La diferencia entre esa y tío. Sí, exactamente. Eso es lo que, lo que pensaba explicar, ¿ok? So, okay. Eh, tenemos ankle, que sería esta de tobillo. Ankle. Y el otro, que les digo que es con una A abierta, una A bastante marcada parecida a la que pronunciamos en español. En el caso de tío, uncle, es una A un poquito menos pronunciada, menos marcada. Uncle, uncle. Uncle, uncle. Uncle, uncle. Uncle, uncle. Uncle, uncle. Y que de hecho la de tío suena un poquito más como una O, así entre una A y O, más o menos el sonido. Esta sí es una A totalmente. Anco, anco, anco. Okay. All right, any other questions? 
eh, la pronunciación es correcta la que dice stomach. Stomach. Decimos stomach. Oh, um, está stomach. perdida. Thank you. No, don't worry. Ok, stomach. Como que si eso fuera una K en lugar de, de CH. Stomach. 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 Ok, any other questions? Uh, the word wears. Grist. 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 Any others? No more questions. No more Okay, good. So now let's continue with a short conversation. The, the conversation is titled, I feel homesick. No sé si pudieron escuchar y leer esta conversación. Y si yes. les quedaba claro lo que es la palabra homesick. Yes. Yes. Sure. Yes. What is homesick? Um, mm -hmm. Nostálgico. Yes. yes. Something like that. En realidad, para homesick no tenemos una palabra exacta como que la describa en español, pero sí, lo más parecido sería nostálgico, que es, por ejemplo, cuando yo me voy a vivir a Estados Unidos, tengo que estar allá un año por estudios o bueno, lo que sea. Entonces, de repente allá por las dos semanas estoy extrañando mi casa, estoy extrañando mi almohada, mi cama, quiero estar con mis Justo. amigos, quiero ver a mi mamá, quiero abrazar a mi hermano, a mi hermana, right? So that would be homesick. Que sería así, como nostalgia de nuestra casa, de nuestro país, de nuestra familia. Ok, so now let's practice the conversation. Let me read it one time and then I am going to send you to the breakout room so you can practice in pairs. So we have, hey Kennedy, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good actually. Why, what's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for the pun. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at a new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Okay, do you have any questions about the vocabulary or the pronunciation? Uh, how do you pronounce actually or actually? Actually, actually. 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 Yes. Actually, y de hecho eh, hay que tener mucho cuidado con esta palabra. Actually. Hay que confundirla con actualmente, que podría ser algo que, que relacionemos con la palabra en español, ¿verdad? Actually. Pero no significa eh, actualmente ni en este momento, yeah. sino que en este caso, por ejemplo, I'm not so good actually, no estoy muy bien en realidad, o de hecho no estoy muy bien, right? That's how we use it. Any other questions? Okay. Actually, actually. Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, I have a hadash in a backash. Es así o es de otra manera? Headache. Headache. De hecho, esta parte, A-C-H-E, uh -huh. se pronuncia como ache. Repeat, please. Ache. 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 Entonces, ahí vamos ache. agregando ache. también... Ache. Eh, perdón, y se, ese, el significado sería dolor. Like headache, dolor de cabeza. Backache, dolor de espalda, right? Entonces, a esa palabra ache le vamos agregando la parte del cuerpo que nos duele. And then we have headache, backache, earache, toothache, and some others. Así, la usamos para distintos tipos de dolores. Agregamos la parte del cuerpo que nos duele primero y luego la palabra ache. Mm -hmm. okay, so we pronounce it headache. Repeat, please. Headache. 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 Backache. 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 Okay. Any other questions? No. 
Okay, so now I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms so you can practice the conversation. Les voy a enviar la foto al grupo del, del WhatsApp para que puedan practicar en pareja. So let's see, let me send you to the breakout rooms. Okay, accept the invitation, please. Eh, como, ¿quién, ¿Quién quiere ser tú? ¿Brian o Kimichi? Eh, una vez y una vez, digo yo, por, por esas dos palabritas que están un poco complicadas. Ah, ok. Entonces, si quieres empiezo con, con Brian y, y luego cambiamos. Ok, ok. Vale. Hey, hey, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good at actuality. Why? What's the matter? Bueno, entonces sería favorito yo sería Brian. Yes. Okay. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I am not so good at actuality. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache okay, and a back pain. <laughs> Maybe you have the flu. No, I think in a back case. Maybe, maybe you have the flu. I think I just feel a little healthy for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can I can I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Hola. Hola. Maybe, let's say, maybe. Maybe you have the flu. Okay. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That was, that's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thank you, Brian. I feel I better back cake. Back? Back cake. Back cake. Okay. Back cake and head. Headache. Headache. Eat head. back cake. Headache and back. Headache. Eat back cake. Mm -hmm. Back. Okay. okay, let's let's practice one more time. Okay. Uh, I'm baking. Eat back cake. Bad cake. Yes. Okay. I'm a first. Okay. Hi, Kenichi. How are you? Uh, I am not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and back head. Maybe you have the flu? No, I think I just feel, feel a little bit homesick for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. 
Thanks, Ryan. I feel very already. That's good. One more time. Okay. I am Brian. Yes. Okay. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache. And Maybe you have backache. a Sorry. <laughs> Maybe you have the flu. No. I see. I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have a lunch at a new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Okay. We. All right, great. Did you all practice the conversation? Yes. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, so now I need everybody to repeat. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Can you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Oh, oh I'm not, not so good, good actually. 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 Okay, what's the matter? Why? What's well, the matter? matter. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache. Well, well, I have a headache. I have a headache. And a backache. And a backache. And a backache. And a backache. Maybe you have the flu. Maybe you have the flu. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. No. no, I, I think, think I just feel a little, little, little homesick for, for Japan. That's too bad. That's, That's too, too bad. bad. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. But, but maybe, maybe, maybe I can help. help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. Let's, Let's, Let's have, have lunch at the new Let's Japanese, lunch Japanese at restaurant. The new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. That's, That's a great, great idea. idea. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Thanks Brian. 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 I feel better already. I, I feel, feel better already. already. Better. better. Teacher. Yes? Y esta frase, better, esto suena como, como mantequilla. Oh, like Good butter. butter. Similar, right? Yeah. Butter, 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 better. better. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Suena un similar. Se pronunciando mal. Sí, porque... oh. okay. sí, better es más como con una better. R, better. Y la otra es butter. 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 Okay, butter. so everybody repeat, please. Actually. 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 Matter. 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 Headache. 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 Se pronuncia eh, como perdón. así más o menos ache. Ache. Oh, you cannot say it if I ache. 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 Headache. 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 And the same. Backache. 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 Headache. 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 Okay. All right, Headache. now repeat flu. 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 Little. 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 Homesick. 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 Maybe. 
Maybe. Maybe. Japanese. Yep. Japanese. Maybe. Thanks. 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 Better. 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 Already. 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 Okay, and then let me tell you a little bit about this word, thanks. Um, les quería hacer una aclaración porque he visto de que de repente utilizamos um, mal la palabra. Entonces, cuando digo thank you, no le pongo la S. Solo es, eh, bueno, thank you, right? No S. Es de esta forma. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Y cuando lo reduzco a thanks, lo hago de esta forma. Pero nunca puedo utilizar eh, you. así como esto, thanks you. Mm -mm. We say thank you or thanks. ¿Ok? Decimos una de las oh, dos okay. formas. Thank you, así sin ese, o thanks. Mm -hmm. Ok. So, any questions about the conversation? No. No. All, All right. No. So now I'm going to ask two volunteers to um to read the conversation one more time. We only have a couple minutes. So let's practice one more time. Me, Robin, okay, go ahead. And me. All right, Roberto and who's the other one? Jasmine. <laughs> okay, Jasmine. Go ahead. Okay. okay. Um, hey, can you see how I do? Oh, I, I am not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I had a head case and back case. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Okay, thank you, Jasmine and Roberto. Very good. Do we have any other volunteers to read? Me. Okay, Lorena and? Yo Mauricio. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so who's going to help her? The ladies first. <laughs> okay. Hi, Kenichi. How are you? Is with me, teacher, or? Um, no? Yeah, no sé quién más quería oh. participar. Laura. Laura. Okay, oh, Laura. so Laura. Laura. Laura and Lorena. Start, Lorena, please. Hi, Kenichi. How are you? Oh, I look so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a head cake, a head cake and a bad cake. Headache and a bad cake. Maybe you have a, a flu? No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Laura and Lorena. So our next pair, let's see, Mauricio and? Yo. And Noemi. Okay. So Mauricio, you start. Okay. okay. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think Jack feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. 
I feel better already. Okay. Excellent. So excellent, Mauricio and Noemi. Thank you. So now repeat You're one welcome. more time, please. Headache. 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 Backache. 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 Idea. 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 That's a great idea. That's, that's a great, great idea. idea. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's all for today's class. Just remember about the homework. And remember to work in the platform too. By now we are in section two. Ya estamos iniciando los temas de la, de la sección número dos. Así que si no ha terminado la sección uno, pues tenemos el fin de semana para trabajar. Por favor, tratemos de completar lo más que podamos. And congrats to the ones that are already in section three or beyond that. Y felicito a los que ya van adelante de la sección tres. En adelante estamos súper bien. Si tiene tiempo de avanzar, hágalo con y si tiene alguna duda pues con mucho gusto yo le ayudo escríbame ahí en el chat que con gusto pues yo le respondo ok so have a nice weekend see you on monday okay, okay. thank you have have nice monday. weekend thank you thank you thank you have a good night have a good night bye bye good night